The day Mum decided to close the shop down was our busiest day ever. Not only did we sell some lights, but some people realised we were actually a shop that sold lights. Even Ali from the kebab place two doors down noticed us. How long have you been here? I wanted to say, what, me? The girl who comes in your place every day for a kebab. The girl that works in a shop two doors down from you. About 30 years. Well, seriously? Lived around here all my life, never noticed this shop. That's us between the African wig shop and Greg's the baker. If you hit the rock, the Christian bookshop, you've gone too far. But don't hit the rock. It fell down last year. We are in the perfect location if your shopping list consists of one jazzy wig, one iced Tottenham cake, and one gold-plated crystal chandelier reduced to £1,300. It's not that like, we're not busy. People are always in the shop. It's just that they don't buy chandeliers, and we sell chandeliers, so that's a bit of a problem. Do you sell fridges? Maybe it's good the shop's closing. I'm not really a shop girl, I'm a writer. A writer trapped in the body of a shop girl working in a shop. I started this blog about working in Mum's lighting shop on the write what you know principle, but mainly because friends had got so bored of me moaning about publishers' rejections and working in my Mum's lighting shop. Do you think we should write down? This sounds so negative. What about up? Closing up? It was classic, Mum. Trying to give bankruptcy a positive spin. Just closing, then. That one word, closing. It was like, like a dog whistle. First in was Belle, closely followed by her tan lines. What it is, I've had my front room done up, all art deco, and I was sort of looking for something to match. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Art Deco, 1920s, eclectic modernism. How about this? Oh, no, that's horrible. No. But it was Art Deco. And I was looking for something with a bit of sparkle, you know, something to give it that... Is that Art Deco? It was not. It was Vegas. But it was also time to be a proper shop girl. It's, um... Art Deco with a Baroque twist. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, I'll take two now. Great. I can sell. I can sell. On the day we closed down, I found out that I could sell. Get them ready and sparkling by the weekend. No, no, I need them now. It was only ever a day job, a sideline. Can you have a six day a week sideline? What's going on? You're not closing. I just opened up my new shop. Raph's got the dress shop across the road. In fact, he's got three shops. But he's always in hours. I had to get out of the shop, fag break. He never actually lights that cigarette. Yeah. I think he's more addicted to opening shops. <clears throat> no, I'm in, I'm in the lighting shop. Right, so they'll be done by three then, yeah? Oh, um, not before six. Traffic warden. For God's sake, I wonder you're close in, Dang. What about liquidation of stock? Mum comes from a Welsh village. I type the name of it, but the spell check might explode. But being in Bermondsey doesn't stop her from being Welsh and friendly. She does like villagey shop things like chat to the postman. Oh! What have you got for us today? Post. 
our customers divide into three groups. Actual customers who buy lights and go away, regulars who chat, buy one bulb and then don't go away, and a small subset who don't buy and don't go away. The small subset are great blogging material, but pretty rubbish for running a business. Even a closing down sort of business. I'm selling for children. What are you doing? I'm doing for the church. Yeah, but what are you doing for the church? I get money for children. I'm a charity. That's what it said on the cereal box ID. I'm a volunteer. It's good. It's got sports section. Yeah, I, I know um, what The Guardian is, but why are you selling it to me for charity at the same price as cost cutter? For children. I'm a charity. Yeah. For the church. Okay. I gave him two quid and waited. No change. The man who was charity left and went next door to the African wig shop. That's just a stolen guardian, then. Mum always says making up a chandelier is a marathon, not a sprint. But thanks to Belle and her Art Deco My Ass purchase, it turned into both. We were up to crystal number 127 when Raph and a tall man came in. <clears throat> Just showing my builder this light. What do you reckon? It's very nice. It's very big also. Yeah, it was my favorite, the mothership. They're closing down, Lucas. Yeah. So uh, you closed down before, no? No, it's our first time. Have you ever thought about becoming a closing down shop? And just as I was wondering what a closing down shop was, Belle appeared with a question that totally wrecked my day. Right, what's more Art Deco, gold or silver? Gold. Gold, 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 gold. Silver? Oh, great, thanks. Bloody design literate, well-educated Polish builder. Abby didn't know we existed four hours ago, and now he's been in here twice in one day. Maybe he loved lighting sales. Maybe he loved the lighting sales girl. The romance that never was. The kebab boy and the shop girl. Have you, uh, got one of these? What's it for? A fridge. No, because we just do stuff for lights. Ow! Here. I've got a photo in here. Can you put it in for me, dear? Um, Rose handed me a frame. She likes a frame. It was another school photo, another grandchild. Only this time there was a problem. The photo was too big. I'm going to have to cut someone off. By someone, I meant her granddaughter and or son. Oh, that's all right, dear. Which one? Oh, you choose, dear. Holding the craft knife, drunk on despotic power, I made my choice. Right, chubby boy it is then. I buy all my friends here, dear, and all my friends are all saying how lovely they are. Oh, oh, great. I hope you um, tell them where they're from. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll tell them I'll get them from Selfridges. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. And that's why we're closing. You're not really closing down, though, dear, are you? No, they're not. They're having a closing sale, aren't you? God, I would never have let Mum close down if I'd known it was this much work. It was 3 p.m. and we just finished Belle's silver chandeliers. Maybe we should become a closing down shop. Two 
Silver. Art Deco chandelier is ready to go. Yeah, well, I can't take them now. I've got no money on me. I just came in for a picture frame. I need a 10 by 12. 10 by 8 is our largest. Well, will it fit? Well, not if the picture's 10 by 12. Well, it is. Is it? Oh, all right, then. Well, what's your biggest 10 by 8? You're not closing, are you? Yeah. Not closing down, are you? Yeah, yeah. But you keep the shop, yeah?